peoples. What's up? Welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Jason here. Today I have a solo playthrough of Scoans here. This one is a solo and cooperative game for one of four players from the same publishing house that gives us the Oniverse and designer Morton Monrad Pedersen, who we know from all those wonderful solo modes with the Automa Factory. This one is a passion project from Morton. It is based on Danish folklore in which we are playing the benevolent uh, Wachter, who is a uh, badger spirit of the forest. They're going to be running around and escaping the clutches of the evil demon, the Garmla Erig. Forgive my pronunciation of Danish words. I'm doing the best I can over here. Mechanically, which is what many people are here for, you are in for a quick and clever card playing experience in which we're going to be drafting cards that depict more forest spirits, uh, playing them out into the forest area, running away as the Garmla Eric spits out more cards and attacks us. Ultimately, we're trying to defeat these forest minions if we can defeat all the forest minions before the evil spirit catches up to us we will win a game of skoentir for this playthrough i will show you the basic game uh, i'll run through a couple of turns uh, defeat one or two of the minions uh, with all the basic componentry so people who are interested in that you can check that out there are two expansions included with increase the complexity and the difficulty the full playthrough will come after my base game demo that will all be in the same video here so without further ado, let's get to some channel announcements and then get to a solo playthrough of Skoentir. Overall, Skoentir has quite a simple streamlined rule set. A lot of the complexity is going to come from the cards. Here's the market. There are five different versions of player cards as well as an enemy card that's going to come out of the deck. For the most part, in terms of taking actions, you have one of four options on your turn. So the first one is to take a card. You'll be drafting a card out of here, paying some kind of cost. The second is to wipe the market, once again pay a cost, take all the cards that are visible, put them under the deck and deal out new ones. You're going to want to do that if too many of the bad guy cards come into the market. You're going to play a card, and there's two ways to play a card. You can play it into the central board or uh, discard it and fire off a power. And finally, the culminating action, you have enough resources to actually deal with the minions, and I'll show all these actions in turn. At the beginning of the game, I'm going to have a market full of good guy cards as well as a personal card. And just take a look at the card anatomy. Right here is the cost of the card when it's in the row, what I pay to take it. And then here's what I would do. If I discard it, I would get some kind of power. So this is my Holra. Uh, and if I wanted to, I could discard the card that kind of takes it out of the game until some special effect puts it back in. Uh, and I can take two other cards from the row without paying that um, cost, usually some kind of like penalty I want to avoid. However, uh, there is a very tight economy here. You don't want to discard cards for their power unless you're stuck. For the most part, you want to try to draft as much as possible, fill your hand, and play cards out in the meadow. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and take the Watker's Call action, which is to draft a card. So I'm going to take this Ella Folk here, and I would look at the left-hand cost area, which means that I would take another one of these cards and put them under the deck. Uh, and that doesn't sound bad because you don't lose the card. However, uh, that presents more opportunity for a uh, unadvantageous card to come out. So let's go ahead and take this Nissa and put it under the deck. Everything gets moved over to the left side. You'll see why in a second, and then I get more cards. Oh, hey, look at that, a troll. Uh, so now you have seen the five uh, cards. And another Elephog, I got a little bit lucky. So in terms of paying a cost, taking the Elephog isn't so bad, because at least, like I said, you keep the card. Uh, there are worse ones, like this Forma Skifter over here. So let's go ahead and draft that one. According to the uh, cost, it says that I have to move the Garmla Eric figure one space. Uh, like I said, uh, the game's only lose condition is if the uh, Garmla Eric reaches Watker, that is a loss. So moving the Garmla Eric figure clockwise like this is a bad thing. 
everything moves clockwise, basically like a chase around the forest uh, with one exception. So let's say I were to uh, get Walker over here. Walker couldn't move. <laughs> this is as far away from Garmla Eric as I can possibly get. We're not worried about that now. We just had Garmla Eric move one and we are going to get some new cards into our market. Ooh, the last example of a card, the Garmla Eric card. Uh, that is one that is not advantageous to me at all. And so let me get uh, some cards played. All right, so I got my three cards and I want to begin deploying them. So I think I'm gonna begin with this Ella folk right here. I can deploy any card, any of my five cards, uh, but once I get started with a particular type of card, I have to keep on going. So like if I played Ella folk, I have to keep on playing either Ella folk or the special uh, of the form skifter, you can tell with the mask image over here, they imitate. So I can play Elifolk and then follow up with either another Elifolk or a form skifter who whole ra would have to wait until the next round. All right, so let's do Vodger's command and play the Elifolk right there. And so now they are deployed. For another turn, let's go ahead and play this form skifter. I can play it in either one of these uh, areas. So as long as they're adjacent for various reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and move them ahead on the path. And so let's go ahead and play this a uh, form skifter right there. So right now they are hidden. The card is totally uh, on the larger forest card. So hidden is great because I'm gonna have some um, effects that allow me to move the Watker ahead. Garmla Eric is going to follow for um, various effects. If they land on a hidden card, I smell the uh, remnants of the good minions. Where are you? No good minions here, move on. Does not discard the card. However, there are some game effects that will take cards out of the hidden status. So uh, for example, this troll card. So then if I take this troll card, the cost is I need to uh, make two cards in the meadow unhidden, visible. So that means turning the cards sideways so that they're sticking out of the forest. You can see their heads a little bit. Uh, I'm able to take the troll, uh, which is fine. But now if Garmla Eric were to pass, let's say Watka was over here or over there, that would discard this card. That is an outcome that you do not want. Very few actions in this game preserve your cards. And so once again, we slide the cards over and then we get another Garmla Eric. There are 25, uh, five sets of five of the good cards and 13 individual Garmla Eric cards. So uh, you're gonna, this is gonna happen. <laughs> the market will fill up with cards that you don't want. So now if I really want to, I have two friendly cards deployed to the meadow, which means that as another action, Watker's Wrath, I could decide to defeat one of the six minions with a strength of two. If I did that, then I would discard the cards in the meadow, turn that over to indicate that they are passed on and do a couple of other effects. However, uh, in this beginning part of the game, you wanna try to beat uh, the higher number cards. It's just, you know, the way the game works out. Uh, if you can build up your set, uh, you want to try to defeat as high a monster as possible. So I'm going to hold off and see if I can get more going. So I want this Elephook that would help me uh, build up in the meadow. However, I cannot pay the cost right now or the printed cost uh, because I can only put player cards, not adversary cards. Uh, this is its own thing. So if I want this Elephook card, I have to do what the game calls a risk pull. So I could take the card and that is a legal play, but I also, I would then have to blind draw from the top. Uh, if it is a player card, then that's fine. I put it under and I get the card basically for free. However, if this is a Garmla Eric card, something terrible happens. The Garmla Eric figure would move forward twice. And in this particular setup, uh, if a Garmla Eric moved forward twice, one, two, game over, didn't even start. Uh, to play but because this is a demonstration i want to show people how exciting it is oh no i could lose the game uh I'm, but i'm gonna hit my randomizer i really want this free card what do i do yay <laughs> uh so then you put that away i get the card for free and then you keep on going oh gosh i have nothing but adversary cards here what do i do 
I do have a couple of options, but first of all, let's go ahead and play this next LFO card. I'm going to start a nice little row right there. And while I'm here, I am going to do what the game calls Watker's Gambit. So then the cost I would pay is to burn a tree. That's not great. Uh, it's the same cost as my Hulwa card, which is very expensive. Uh, burning a tree is not great. This is the uh, game's quasi timer. So I would flip that over and I'd burn one of the cards. If a, another effect, let's say I were to take this from the central row, uh, this doesn't matter if I have it in my hand, but if I take it from the central row, then I would damage an already damaged uh, tree and then remove this and then collapse this map. And as you can see, that makes it harder to win the game. So I have that option. So to handle with care, <laughs> burning trees. But in this particular case, what Burning Trees allows me to do is get rid of all these Garmel Air cards, put them under the deck, and get a whole new set. I got another Ella Folk that's good, and a Form Skifter also good. Garmel Eric is in the middle. So uh, I don't have to take the Garmel Eric card unless it is in this left space. If it was in this left space, that, that is the, your play. You got to deal with it somehow. But for now, it's in the middle. So let's see what I can do. I have a Trolda card. The Trolda is a big, scary monster, uh, and discarding it would allow me to move the Garmla Eric back as far as I wanted, uh, up to three spaces. So obviously, I wouldn't want to move it this far. That would discard this one because it is visible. No way. That one's hidden, so then I could push the Garmla Eric back, give myself a little breathing room to do further moves. So I have that option. I also have the option of discarding the Holra card to take any cards that I want, ignoring the cost, including the Garmla Eric. Uh, that is also an option. But let's just take this LFO card. Uh, the cards kind of came together for me. Uh, and I'm actually going to get rid of this Formus gift that I'll pay the cost uh, and keep on going. I said, now I have one, two, three. Let's put down the LFO card. I now have my four. That's as big a set as you will ever need. And so the last action that is available to me, which I could do right now, Watker's Wrath. Rawr. Remove a minion from the game that is either um, equal to or lesser than the strength of the allies in the forest. I got one, two, three, four allies in the forest. So let's just go for it. Boom. Done. Beaten the Lindorm. Sure. <laughs> so then uh, that is defeated. I will take all of these cards and discard them. Whew. Uh, discarding is painful in this game, but it's got to be done. So then I would shuffle the deck to kind of get all those bottom cards mixed back in. Uh, I like that little uh, nod. It's like, okay, you did a thing. Have a breather. Shuffle the deck. <laughs> it's the only time you shuffle the deck is when you defeat a minion. So there is some shuffling, but it's not as bad as I like, can only remember something. So now I can do a really good thing. One of these three options. First, I can choose, I can run, which is to move Watka where my allies were, and then discard all the allies. If you remember, I had allies in one, two, three, four. So if I chose to run, whoop, I am as far from Garmla Eric as possible. So that might be a really good play for me. I might also choose to uh, get some revenge, discard uh, allies and discard an adversary in the row. In the base game, this is the only way to get rid of adversaries. Uh, so I would discard that. It would no longer be in the deck. That would be great. That is a very tempting option here because when I begin my turns again, I am compelled to deal with this Garmla Eric card. I would take it and I would pay the cost, which is to move Garmla Eric forward another one. And then uh, kind of hot potato style, I would have to put it in the bottom of the deck. So it kind of compels my play. If I did that Watker's Wrath, then I could just discard it and not have to deal with it. The last effect I can possibly choose is to heal a tree. So that would just be uh, putting it back on its restored side. So uh, kind of maintaining the integrity of the meadow. But for the purposes of this demo to articulate how terrible these cards are, let's go ahead and discard that. And then fill up. Ooh, see? <laughs> so many of these. And then move on. And so I showed you a lot there, but not quite everything. There's still a couple of little powers to deal with. Uh, but for the most part, it is drafting cards, making no decisions on what I want to play to get uh, allies out there, managing um, Gamla Eric. Gamla Eric is going to keep going, so I have to get Wa a Watker nice and mobile uh, until we get allies, discard for minions, discard the allies. 
allies, discard the minion, <laughs> more allies, until all six are defeated. So that is enough for the base game. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the expansions. The first of the two expansions is the Lightman's Demand. So you have these Lightman cards, uh, you've got six of them, and you put one of each copy on top of the six minions. Let's get a bit closer. As you can see, uh, you have the basic art of the card, but there's also one of the five images uh, that are on here, and one of the cards is wild. So uh, there is another Watker action that you can do on your turn, which is satisfy the uh, like demon's demand. So then if I were to have that particular card in hand, so in this particular case, that would be a form skifter. Uh, I would take this form skip to put it on top, a bottom of the deck, and then acquire the like demon. They're happy. <laughs> Look at him. He looks so happy. Uh, and I can use this card for later. So that makes one of the minions vulnerable. If any like demon is still there, I cannot defeat the minion. So I need to satisfy the, the like demon before I attack one of the minions. One at a time. You can't just like take all six and remove them. Uh, I, I choose a minion, take its like demon, and then go after that minion. Once that is defeated, then I could take one of the other ones. So in typical fashion within the Oniverse, the expansion you put in, you get a bad thing, but then also a good thing. The bad thing is constraining your choice on which minions to defeat, as well as adding that extra card requirement. The good thing though, once you have a like demon, I could discard this one like demon, uh, and then pull from the deck and make sure that an ally is on top, which is really useful. If I want to do that risk pull, uh, kind of mitigates that. So that's a good thing that I get. If I have two like demons that I can discard them, I can put two allies on top and I can also defeat one adversary, which is the other way that the game gives you to get these things out of your deck. Fantastic. I always love saving up for the two effect, but sometimes you just need the one depending on how your game goes. So this is the second module of the game, which is called Rescue. You take one copy of all the five minions and you bind them up. These cards are unavailable. Not only are the individual cards unavailable, I can't play other copies. So if I had a Nyssa in my hand or a Trolda or whoever, I could not uh, take the Valkyr's command action, which is to play it. I can't discard it for its effect or put it into the forest until I rescue it. And rescuing is painful. So that's it. it's just you know an action uh, called a Volker Rescue. Take one of these, discard it, and put that on the top of the deck. That's fine. However, the cost of doing that is burning a tree. No good. In addition, one of them uh, are going to have this times two, which would mean uh, doing two damage, which would mean removing the tree from healthy to just getting it out of the area. Puts a lot of pressure on you. So that was most of the bad thing. Here's where you get the good thing. So uh, at the beginning of the game, you're gonna set up the six tokens next to the six minions. Uh, when I defeat a minion, I can claim a token. I put it in the middle of my forest. If I were to claim the matching token, so let's say I was able to defeat this monster, uh, get two matching tokens, then I can discard the two, the two tokens and get my tree back. So a lot of pressure on you killing your trees, but if you can kill the minions in the right way, you can rebuild that forest and keep Watker alive, which he'll be really, really thankful for. If you are wondering, yes, you can play those two expansions together, which is what I'm going to do right now. All right, I'm ready to play the double expansion game. I got my Lick Demand set up. And uh, because it is way more difficult, I've yet to win with six trees. Uh, the game comes with two extra trees to adjust difficulty. So I threw in an extra tree to make seven. So that is going to be my field of play. I've also set up my prisoners. The troll ended up with the two. So uh, troll's not going to get rescued for a little while. In the market, I have two Elephalk and a Nyssa and also a form skifter in my hand. I think I'll start with the Elephalk. So I can take the card freely, I just can't play them. So let's go ahead and take the Elephalk. The Nissa is a, um, a card that I don't need right now. I don't think I showed this in the overview. The Nissa's power is that I can rescue stuff from the discard. Uh, don't need that yet because nothing in the discard. So save you for later, Nissa. And so out in the market is going to be a troll and another troll no adversary cards so far 
let us continue to build resources. And now my hand is comprised of two Elephoak and a form skifter. Let's go ahead and move these trolls down. Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, never too long uh, before I get my first adversary. And so now I want to start playing cards. That means I have to do some rescues. So first of all, a pretty obvious, let's go ahead and do Watker's Rescue. Uh, get rid of that binding and put the Elephoak on top of the deck. And so now I burn a forest of my choice, which is going to be that one. The reason I chose that particular one is because when the game tells me to damage a tree, I specifically damage one without anything on an ally, Garmla Eric, or Watker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Garmla Eric card. I can take it. That's optional. If it was here, that would not be optional. I have to take it, do the power, and then put it under the deck. So the power is, or the cost is, I should say, move Garmla Eric forward one. Boom, done. That is now occupied. If I were to harm another forest, I could not harm that one. So that's cool. Oh, look at that. That Ella folk was right there. That's because I want to rescue this form skifter, which is now on top of the deck for that. Paying that cost, which is the burden of the forest. Had I burned the same forest twice, the map would be smaller. Now the map is still as big as it is, and I can deal with that. And so now that I can legally play these cards, go rescue the forest allies, Elephoak, Elephoak, Forma Skifta. So uh, just a little note about the Forma Skifta. If I played that first, I could only play this particular card. But because they imitate other allies, I can play the Forma Skifta after the Elephoak and be fine. So the key to the game is to get cards, even if I can't use them now. So I'm going to take this troll and pay the cost. Garmla Eric is nice and far away, so let's go ahead and uh, turn the cards that are furthest away, and then I will be able to get this troll safely. So let's move these down. I get another card, a former Skifter. Hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and take that former Skifter, move Garmla Eric one, and get another card. Wow, Elephoak. Uh, the game is begging me to use those things. And so now I'm set up to defeat a four strength minion, which you always want to do early. However, these Lictamons are getting in my way. I need a Nessa or a Holra, and I don't have either of those two, and they're not in the uh, market. So, need to find one. Where am I going to find one? Sacrifices must be made. Let's go ahead and claim that Holra, put it on top of the deck. That requires me to burn this forest and collapse the meadow. Hopefully, that'll be back later. Let's take that Elephoak, paying uh, another one. I don't think I'm going to need all that many. Uh, bring the Holra back. I knew that Holra was coming. And a Garmla Ereg. Ugh, that is no good. And so now I want to take this Holra, but this is what I'm looking at. So uh, if I were to take it, I'd burn another forest. And that's like four burns in one turn. Not ideal. I could use the Troll that I take to push this back. But first of all, I have some unhidden minions, so pushing them back would cost me. I don't want to do that. Also, the Trolda is still bound, and they have the two binding, which would get another, get rid of another tree. So I'd be shrinking the forest radically, uh, which is possible. That's a choice that I can make, but that would constrain my options uh, for this early game. Don't want to do that either. The other thing I could do is a wrist draw. I could take this Holra and hope that this uh, card on top of the deck is not a Garmla Eric. But if it is, I lose the game. <laughs> Boy, this game puts you behind the eight ball. So I'm going to go ahead and just take it and eat the burn uh, and do the best that I can with it. And then the new card is a troll. That allows me to put this Holra on the bottom of the deck. In the Lick Demand action, take that card and I've rescued or at least satisfied one Forest Spirit. I play one down. I've made a continuous row. We go one, two, three, four for the Watkers Rescue action. I'm sorry, not rescue. Watkers Wrath action. Yeah. We take down this Linderm. We claim its seed and get our reward. And so I could do a couple of things. I could get rid of this adversary in the adversary row. Uh, I could heal this tree, or I could move Watka all the way up here. Uh, I think for now, let's go ahead and get the move. I love the move. Uh, and I'm as far away from Garmla Eric as possible. Uh, gonna have to manage this whole tree situation, but I think I can do it. 
All right, so just to let y'all know, I made some of the choices I made to set up for the next one. Let's get rid of this troll. -da, a troll. All right, I always pronounce the D, and you're not really supposed to pronounce it from my understanding. Uh, so, <laughs> troll. Put that on top of the deck, and that is the double damage, so that gets rid of a tree that collapses my forest from a mighty 7 to a struggling 5. All right, so to get started, we're going to play this troll. And I'm also going to play this former Skifter. So I can, if I want to, play it here. <laughs> Gromla Eric doesn't know what hit him with these hidden animals. However, I'm going to reveal it in a second. So I'm going to have to play it in a safer spot. And so now I know there's a troll on the top of the deck because I put it there. So let's take advantage of that. I'm going to take that, do the wrist draw cost. Hey, look at that. That's the troll that I put on top of the deck. That goes on the bottom. See what I get. Another Gromla Eric building up. So this time, because I don't feel like taking the risk, I'm going to take this troll uh, and pay the cost. So uh, that is why I did not put this former skiff here, because I knew I was going to reveal it. And so now I have two cards to put down. Uh, this one I'm going to use on here. I already have the one green seed, and I want to use the other one. This one is a wild. I can use any card I want. So I'm going to take this troll put it on the bottom of the deck, and then claim this uh, Lig Demand card, my second. Take this troll card, and just for the lulls, <laughs> I sneaky, get past evil demon. What's happening? I think one of my minions is about to be defeated. Yes, sir. That's exactly what's going to happen. Watker's Wrath, roar. We have defeated the mayor. No, not the mayor. The Mare. Get your pronunciation right, Jason. Very good. All right, I got this seed. That enables me to pair this with a second seed. I plant it, and I'm able to get a tree. Return to the meadow. I am back at a reasonably safe and healthy six with most of my cards rescued, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. So now I get my reward. Watker is as far from Gromla Eric as I can make it. I could decide if I wanted to defeat an adversary. I'm not too worried about that right now. Let's heal a tree. I like to get myself to a much healthier spot. Especially, uh, my first action of the turn is going to be to damage a tree to get back this Nissa. And now I have the full complement of minions available to me to use. All right, defeat the minion, give the deck a nice shuffle, and we are ready to go again. But before I uh, take actions, I want to take this Lick Demand uh, turn in. I have two of them. So let's go ahead and put uh, two allies on top. So these two are going to go on top. Any other allies would go to the bottom. And then also defeated adversary. Bye-bye, Gromla Eric card. Down from 13 to 12. I'm going to take these two. I'm not going to do the Watkers Gambit, which is to damage another tree. <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, uh, so I'm just going to take them. Uh, and take them just for the regular actions, which means to move Garmla Eric up to and refill. Hey, would you look at that? Safe draws. Fantastic. And so let's push some luck a little bit. I'm going to take this troll card, see what I get from the top. Oop, a player card. No problem. And is this next one a player card? No, it's not a player card. That's fine. Uh, I do want this Nissa. Uh, I'll show you why in a second, um, but I think I'm going to roll the dice and, play, and take another uh, troll card. Roll it. Hey, hey. <laughs> sometimes that happens. Sometimes you get adversaries up your butts. Oh, there you go. There's an adversary. Just letting you know I was one card away. Don't push your luck too much. So now let's go ahead and get another uh, rally of uh, allies out. We got two allies. Uh, I wanted to get that out because that helped me pay the cost of the Nissa. So then the Nissa's cost is I can move Watker forward one. That's a good thing. But then that reveals this card. That's not a good thing. And also the constraint is I have to have a hidden ally one step ahead. That's not the easiest thing to manage all the time. But when I can, I like doing that, get Watker going and get a Nissa card in my hand. And we move forward. We get another Holra. Hmm. I wasn't anticipating having a bunch of you, but we'll deal with it. 
Now I have a choice here, and this is what I really want to do. I can use this Nissa, uh, the only card in my hand, to satisfy the demand of this Lick Demand. That would commit me to four. Uh, so if I can't get the Trollas or the Formus, um, or the Doppelganger cards, uh, then I am stuck here, and that's not great. So I'm going to hold on to this for now, but I'm going to really try to set up for this. The other thing I can do is fish two cards out of discard pile. Really, really important to do so. Uh, get those cards in there, especially as a great part of the game for it. I'll see those cards again. And uh, I definitely want to get some Elephoke back in there because I'm running low. So I have that choice, but I have some time. So I may as well keep pushing my luck. So let's go ahead and take this horror card and wow. <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty good streak over there. Those odds are getting lower and lower that that's going to work. And then let's take this LFO card, but we are actually going to pay the cost this time. Uh, and let's see the cost. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I saw you. I smelled you. That's why I didn't want to do the wrist draw right there. <clears throat> oh, that's a bad sign. No good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this LFO card. Uh, I do want to wipe the board, but I want to make sure I get decent cards first. So let's go ahead and take the LFO card, discard it, and see what is coming up. Not bad at all. Oh, this would get me to the four. That's wonderful. So let's go ahead and put that card on the bottom of the deck. Bam, put those on top. Watger's Gambit, unfortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice that beautiful tree uh, that I spent so much time building. I'm back down to five. Not devastating, but something to watch out for. Get rid of all these adversary cards and get those wonderful cards that I uh, set up on top right there. And so I am going to push my luck. Let's go ahead and take that former Skifter. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, that is too bad. Yep, uh, the game will teach you to uh, not push your luck too, too much. It basically cost me one movement of Garmla Eric total. Uh, so that's fine. Because uh, I'm going to take this anyway. I'm just going to take it straight up. The Trolda is still hidden. Uh, let's see what I get next. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. The uh, game is really teaching me to be careful with that. Anyway. Okay, so we got one and two. And I do satisfy the Lick Demands uh, call. Thank God for that LFO card, which lets me scry. Don't think I would have been able to do that without it. So this goes on the bottom of the deck. Let's go ahead and claim that. One, two, three, four allies is a defeat of the second Lindorm. Uh, and an acquisition of the seed. Can't do anything with that right now. But I defeated the three most powerful minions. I got these left, and they're much easier to deal with. So I'm feeling really good about this one. So this is a bit of a pickle. So normally, I would just run. Uh, my last ally was here, though, not here. So it wouldn't be that <laughs> much um, advantage. It is a good advantage. Uh, but uh, there's also advantage in either healing this tree or... Uh, getting rid of an adversary card. I'm going to roll the dice. Oh, you're scary. Uh, should I roll the dice? Um, you know what? Because I have so many trolls in the discard, and that's the only other way to push Garmla Eric back, I am going to move forward the two. Not as much as I could, but I have ways to get here, uh, and I'll just deal with everything else. All right, so here I got to be careful. Calculate odds, all that good stuff. I take this one, Garmla Eric card, move uh, the figure forward one. No good. I hope this is not a Garmla Eric card. It is not. That's really good. So let us take this LFO card, paying the Nissa cost. You're there. That's not great. Yeah. <laughs> Unavoidable. But I wanted them on this card because uh, paying the cost does not cost me a tree. So we're going to do that, wipe the board, burn the forest. Uh, that's the cleverness aspect of it, manipulating Eric, preserving that. So much of this is like little bits of movement to preserve your cards, preserve your resources. I really dig this game for those very reasons. Ugh. So although I'm starting to not be able to get out of my own way because I'm not recovering cards out of the discard. So there's a higher percentage of, of uh, Garmla Eric cards coming out of here. 
So now we have to reset a little bit. So I'm going to use this hover card and discard it. I'm going to take these two cards without triggering their bad effects. Uh, so the Garmin Eric card goes away. And then hopefully I don't get too many more. Okay, I'll live with that. I'm going to take this Nisa card uh, and discard it and then recover an Elifolk and a Troll. So those go on the bottom of the deck. When I reshuffle, they'll get back in there, hopefully uh, improve my calculated odds here. So now I wanted that Elifolk. I want to scry the deck, but I do want to get this card. So let's go ahead and take out this two next. LFO card goes under the deck, and hey, guess what I have? Managed to hold out and get two of these. And so, let us uh, pull the cards. We got the Nissa, we got the Holder, that's great. Uh, and we got the Garmin Eric. Any other cards would have gone on the bottom. We're going to discard you, sir. Put you on top. That's really, really helpful. So I have to do this. There's no real way around it, because they're in the left side. So that's nothing... Uh, that I can do, but I know what the top two cards are. So here is a Nissa, and one of these three cards I can basically take for free, which is going to be the Nissa. I'm going to do the Risk Draw. I knew what that was. I'll put that on the bottom, and ooh, a Formus Gift. Uh, that's a. I'll take that somewhere along the way. But before I do that, let's go ahead and get rid of this Nissa. We're kind of loading up for the end of the game. I'm going to recover this Formus Gift and a. Uh, Elifolk, put that on the bottom of the deck once again to be reshuffled anon. So here's not such good news, but there's not, a lot of not good news in this game. I'm going to take that, and I have to get rid of that card, which reduces my playing area to four. Boo! Uh, former Skifta, Holdra, uh, Holra, and uh, so two of these. Uh, and uh, as opposed to risking it and reducing my uh, area further, let's go ahead and... Uh, discard that, which means I could take two cards without paying the cost. I'm going to take these two. Uh, probably going to get some adversary cards. There you are. Uh, but I am able to play this card and this card here. I can use that and I can de defeat the enemy. So that gets me that one right there. Too bad I couldn't make the match, but I can't do everything, right? And I think because I have this one right here, it'd be a good idea to heal this forest as my reward. Speaking of, that is the obvious move. Let's burn that and get more stuff going on. Ooh. So we're not going to mess around. Let's discard that one. I'm going to take those, uh, put that one harmlessly under the deck. Uh, take that and see what else I get. Okay. Okay. Not. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good but I can't take it until I take this Garmlet Eric and the figure is right up Watkers, you know what. So discarding more cards, <laughs> let's go ahead and chase uh, uh, Garmlet Eric away as far as humanly possible and then take this card and that'll move them forward one. So that also benefits me because now uh, I can burn a forest without getting rid of a card, which I think I'm gonna do. Ooh, I also have some options here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Let's do that. I burn a forest. I have a plan. Believe me, I got a plan. Oh, nice. That is gonna be really helpful. Cool. Uh, so that next card was a form of Skifta. I'm gonna take it. That puts Garmlet Eric right back where uh, they are uncomfortable, but uh, sacrifices have to be made. <laughs> Uh, we get another card. Oh, a nice run of cards. Beautiful. Hopefully removing those adversaries and putting in uh, extra cards are starting to really benefit me. So then let's go ahead and get that one and that one played. And that lets us draft the Nissa card, paying its cost, moving it forward, and tapping that one. So the replacement card is going to be a troll. Now, th the deck is dwindling, and I don't have a lot of good cards left. So definitely going to play this Nissa. Uh, and I'm actually going to put uh, two of these back. Uh, reason being, there's no more left in the deck, uh, especially after I use it out in the field over there. So, And I need one of these to uh, reveal one of those little creatures uh, right there. So that is what we're going to do. So that discards my Nissa card. Let's take the Elephant and pay one. I have a feeling this is going to be two 
adversary cards. No, it is not. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, and the one adversary. That's pretty nice. I don't really want to do this, but I'm down to the wire here. I'm uh, going to have to discard the LFO card for the scry. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're on top and you're on the bottom. Reason I did that is because I need that card to, you know, that's the risk card. Boom, done. I have acquired it and yeah, that's inevitable. And so I have the troll. The troll is going to go on the bottom of the deck to claim this uh, Lick Demand card. It is now happy. Uh, and this again, Ganga card can now be defeated. We got one, two, uh, defeated, bam. I claim the seed. Woo, I got two matching seeds. Fantastic. Which allows me to expand the forest. Uh, I cannot expand the forest in a way that puts Watka uh, further away, so it has to kind of be ahead of him. That's terrible, Morton. <laughs> Can't believe you specifically said that in the rules. That's no fair. So this one's going to come down to the wire. Can't move, uh, but at least uh, I can kill an adversary with that. Uh, Watker's Wrath, the card deck has been shuffled. Uh, hopefully those former skifters start to come out. Uh, ugh. <laughs> that is not good news for me. And so looking at the deck distribution, I need a three card uh, set. And I also need to use one of my valuable former skifters to get rid of that uh, last Lick Demand card. Ugh. Just don't know if that's going to work out for me. It is what it is. Uh, play it out to the bitter end. Let's go ahead and burn that. Get rid of these Garmla Eregs. And uh, see if I get something good. Uh, nope. And yes. Okay. I will take it. All right. So this is where I'm going to have to need a bunch of luck. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and take this Garmla Eric, which puts um, the figure one behind me. That's not great. I am fishing. That's what I'm fishing for. I'm fishing for the former gifter. I can't take it right now because taking it would just end the game. Uh, I can't just take it and pay the cost. So I just have to roll the dice. Uh, I have a less than 50% chance of winning. So if I lose right now, uh, that is what it is. Uh, hopefully, i call that a happy demo. But do I initially lose the game? No! <laughs> Get out of here. So uh, I take my former skip though up. Oh, that's the one that was meant for me. And I claim my last Lick Demand card, which is going to be really, really useful. Have these two cards. I'm going to use those last two cards. How many uh, adversary cards? So this one gets discarded. We know that. Uh, okay. So, wow, a lot. <laughs> so that one's going to go on top. That was going to go on top. The rest of these go on the bottom. Hopefully, I have set myself up for uh, success for the end of the game. And so I need to put three trolls out uh, in order to win. So let's go ahead and take a troll. Uh, we know what that is. That's going to get discarded. And we're going to put that uh, right here. Although I'm going to get slowed down because unfortunately I got to use this troll to create my breathing room. So that sets me back to zero. Oh, well. So let's get ready to burn some forest. But first, Garmla Eric is going to take that one, move that one, one closer to me. And oh, hey, an LFO card. Ooh, that's pretty nice, actually. Let's go ahead and take that one and that one. Pay the cost, likely getting uh, two uh, Garmla Eric cards. Yep, that's pretty uh, likely but I'm going to take this elephant card and use it. So then we got one, two, three, four. Basically, I'm going to try. I'm getting to the bottom of the deck again. Uh, we got one, two, three uh, there. And we're going to put that one on top. So then I'm going to take this troll card. Uh, that's going to be that. And probably another adversary card. Ooh, not an adversary card. Oh, man. <laughs> that's excellent. I was actually ready to burn a forest to get rid of three of those. Uh, it's only two. So let's go ahead and burn that forest. Uh, move that along. Boom, boom. Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I will uh, consider that <laughs> strongly. Uh, so we have another form a skip the card that moves that there and that. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Get rid of that, the nice small forest. Move over there. We got one, two, three. Okay, so 
Ooh, I think I can do this. I knew this Nissa card was there. Beautiful. So watch this. Uh, we got the troll and the former skifter right there. I can take this card freely. I will. What that does is it moves me one and I reveal that. Beautiful. So what does that allow me to do? It allows me to take this card, move forward one. You're still hidden. You're over here. And then another card gets filled. Yeah, it's all adversaries. But guess what? Boom. One, two, three. Three. <laughs> Woo! That took everything I had, a lot of luck, down to the bone in terms of the forest. I uh, could not get any more down, but I was able to wriggle through and have some victory. How many cards were left that were bad? A lot of them. <laughs> Look at all those bad cards that were left. Uh, I'm not great at this game. I'm pretty good at the base game. I can I basically beat the base game uh, almost every time I play with a decent draw. With these expansions, it really does add up. Uh, and that was with the seven forests. Go ahead and try it with the six forests. Uh, go ahead and engage the game however you want. There's a lot here to offer. Base game does play pretty quickly. I can bang out a game in probably under 10 minutes. This one is a lot longer, a lot more complex. Uh, but hopefully throughout the sweep of this video, between featuring the base game, uh, showing you all the expansions, I've given you a good sense of everything you need to know to see if Skowin's here is a good fit for your gaming collection. This is Jace with the One Stop Co-op Shop reminding you that we'll see you at the next stop.